Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be doing Vikings 1 from Bolt Up. This box are really easy. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I'm going to start by putting my terminals here. I'm going to start by running a new discover minus R, 10.0.0.1 from a gateway slash I, J0. By doing this, we do get that be the box, 10.0.0.213. So I'm going to start by running MAPs again. So I'll do MAP minus SC for default scripts, minus SV for enumeration. And I'm just going to port an IP. I'm doing this, I'm gonna start by doing like a net cap minus NV on port 80. And this seems like port 80 is open for HTTP, right? So I'm gonna start by visiting the IP address. Then this, we do get a static directory as site. And we also do get a mad king here, right? So I'm gonna do control U to the source code. And it doesn't seem like you do have anything, right? So I'm going to start building some enumeration and running a go buster. So I'm going to do control shift Z. So I'll do go buster and dir mode minus U. Once in the IP address, minus W for slash user share word list. I'm going to do buster directory list 2.2 medium.txt. We'll do extensions as HTML, txt, and also PHP. By doing this, we do get an index HTML, images, CSS, JS, and also word.txt. Um, so I'm just going to go to word.txt. It does seem like we do get another directory as war is over. Some of us at war is over. And it does seem like we do get base64 only because I say I say that because we do have the plus signs here. I just confirm this. Um, if you do like do control F and go to equal sign, you do see that we do have an equal sign of uh, at the end of the string or at the end of base64, which is confirms that it is base64, right? Um, so it does seem like this file is, um, well, this base64 is too large to, to decode. So I'm guessing this is like a base64 to file. So I'm just going to search up base64 to file. I'll just go to the site uh, right here. Oh, control V here. The code base64 to file. Are right, you so looking at the file info? It does seem like we do get, a, we do get an application slash zip here. Up uh, for the size, we do have like 1.35 megabytes. So it's probably just like a TXC file. And this gives us options to download this file, right? So I'm just going to save this and copy from our downloads folder. Clear my terminals here. I'm gonna copy from slash root. Uh, we'll just go to downloads and we'll get the application.zip. I'll uh, we'll just move this to this directory here. I uh, doing this, I'm just gonna move application to dot zip to like file.zip. I'm running off file against file.zip. And it does seem like this is a zip arch of data, right? Another thing we can do is start by unzipping this file. I'm gonna unzip file.zip. It does seem like there's a, a file king called king under zip.file. It does need the pk compat, so I'm going to use 7z for this. So I'm going to do 7z. We'll specify x so we can extract the file. We'll do application.zip or file.zip. And it is, it is asking us for a password, right? I'm just going to press enter. And it does seem like we do need a password to extract king, right? So I'm going to be using zip to, zip to john. Um, I'm just going to specify the application, which is file.zip. And I'm just going to name this file.txt, right? Doing this, I'm going to do a small layer. We'll use John. We'll do use John minus minus word list is equal to slash user share word list. We'll use rocky.txt and specify file.txt, right? Um, so it does seem like this is cracked already. So I'm going to use John. We'll use minus minus show and we'll specify file.txt. And this seems like we do the password as this, right? So I'm going to do 7z. We'll do um, x so we can extract the file. And we'll specify file.zip. We can type in yes, press enter, and you get a file as king, right? So it does seem like this is a JPEG image. I just to confirm this, I'm going to do like file under king and just show that this is a JPEG um, image data, right? So I'm going to start by running like a Stegor Vitas against this and against king. And we can just let this scan, right? All right, so Stegor Vitas is now done. I'm going to clear my terminals here. Um, it should create a results directory in here, and there should also be a a directory here called keepers. So I'm gonna go to keepers. Um, it does seem like we do have a file as user, so I'm just gonna cat the user. And this seems like we do have a user as Floki at Vikings, but in this case, I'm just gonna replace that with my IP address. So I'm gonna do SSH. We do have a user as Floki. And we'll do 10.0.0.231 or 213. We can press enter on this. Uh, we can just type in the password here. And we do get a long scuffs, right? So, come right terminals here. I'm gonna do sudo myself. 
Enter the password. It doesn't seem like a Uber and sudo. I'm gonna do ID. Uh, it does seem like we can do probably do an LXD privisc. I'm gonna see if we can do if we do have like um LXD on here. It does seem like we do have LXD. I'm gonna see if we can run this. It does seem like we run LXD, right? So I'm gonna go under slash dev shm. I'm gonna start searching up for like the exploit for this. So so I'm gonna do LXD. We'll do exploit db. Uh, I'm just going to go to raw data, copy this. I'm going to vi into it like exploit. Put the right quit. I'm going to do chmod plus x to turn this into executable. Uh, now we're going to run this. And you do see that we do have minus f, so we can specify the tar.gc file, right, for alpine, right? So I'm going to go to alpine. I'm just going to search up like GitHub. I'll probably search up like build Alpine build. So I'm just going to go to build Alpine. We can build this on our machine. So I'm going to go to MKDIR. We'll go to build. We'll CD into build. I'm just going to debit this. We'll do chmod plus x for build Alpine. I'm just going to build Alpine. I'm doing this, I'm just going to clear my terminals here. I'm going to go into build. I'm going to do SFTP so we can transfer the file. So, you can use, so we can use the commands like put and get. So we didn't know we did have a user as Floki at 10 213 uh, We also did have the password. So if I go into, I think it was results, keepers, go into user, if we cat the user, we did have this password right here. So I'm going, I'm going to go into slash dev shm ls. I'm going, I'm going to put the alpine in here. Doing ls minus la. You do see that we do have our alpine file now, right? So I'm going to exploit. We'll do minus f. So we can specify the file, the file type. I'm going to do application. Or for, we'll do alpine for the tar.gc file. So now this is going to create a container for us. We do ID and now we are under root, right? Since we're under root, we can go under slash mount. Uh, we'll go into root. CD into root again. Alice and we can cat our root.txt, right? By doing this, since we are under a container, I want to get a persistent shell. So I'm going to go under root. We'll go into slash etc. Make sure that we do have a password file in here. It does seem like we do have a password file, right? So what I'm going to do is actually do like M use MK password to generate a hash and uh, overwrite the password file, right? So we can get a persistent shell on the machine, right? So I'm going to copy this. So I will go under slash build. So I'm going to be into password. I'm just going to put this in here. Um, I'm just going to like, I'm going to start a Python server because I need to make sure that we do have a connection with that container because sometimes when you do have, um, when you, when you do spawn inside a container, Sometimes you won't have a connection to, it's just going to be like a local host container, which doesn't uh, allow us to have connection, right? So I'm just going to test if we do have one. So I'm just going to, we do have an IP address for this. Um, so I'm just going to use like wget to get a file on my server. So 10.0.0.6.9, we'll do port 8081. I'm just going to get file.txt, which is like a file that does not exist. So we'll do python3 minus m http star http dot server on board 881 and this seemed like we do get a hit but of course um the file.txt does not exist right i just wanted to test the connection between the two boxes so we can get the password file right so we'll do alice minus la um we also did have our password file so i'm gonna do mk password we'll do minus m for the method we'll do sha-512 i'm just gonna enter pass So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go to cherry tree, open a new node. We'll enter pass. I'm just going to enter a user as proxy programmer. I'll enter the hash. We'll start by specifying our groups. Let me zoom in here. So let's start by specifying our groups. We'll do root slash root slash bin slash bash. We can copy this. We'll vi into the password file. Put this in here. 
we can write quip. Uh, we can start a Python server. So do Python three minus m http dot server on port eighty eighty. Now since we can not get, I'm gonna do else minus la on slash etc, or I'll just do this on password. This seemed like we do the password file, right? Since we can use wget to get files, I'm gonna just replace that, replace the password file with the my password file, right? So 10.0.069, we'll do this on port 8080. I'll put this to a password file. We'll cat the password now. And you do see that we do have a user as proxy program, right? So I'm gonna do control shift Z and we're gonna exit out of this container. So I'm gonna switch users to proxy programmer. Enter pass. Now we are under root. We can do Alice minus LA having cat or root.txe. Well, guys, that's pretty much in the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.